mountain climbing ain't no joke. Mike is down here just running literal circles around me. Just running circles around me. This flatlander here is not used to this. That's what we came up. And Mike's still way up there. <laughs> and that's what we've got to go up. I'm out of shape, I know. But the biggest thing is I just can't catch my breath. I go for a little bit and I just can't breathe. But man, look at that view. All right, y'all, so we ain't in Illinois anymore. Uh, check out that view. That's something like I've never seen before. All right, so Mike called me up and he said, come out to Colorado and we're gonna do some elk hunting. And I jumped on the opportunity. And uh, so this is our first morning. I drove all day yesterday through the mountains and we're up here this morning and I'm gonna get a lesson on on trying to spot an elk in this. This is all new to me, y'all. Um, stuff that you don't do where I'm from. So we're sitting up on top of this mountain and we're gonna start trying to glass here and, and look for these elk. We've got all week here to do this and I'm gonna try to document as much as I can for y'all. So it should be a good one. So we know they're here. Mike just pointed this out to me. There's, a, there's the first elk track we've seen. He says it's a bull, bull track, so that's definitely a good sign. But for some of y'all, this may seem real basic, but for me never doing this, you know, essentially what we're doing is we're just driving down through here and we're stopping, we're glassing. And I can tell you from somebody who's never done this before, there's a little bit more to it than just panning around with binoculars and spot and scope. You're, you're having to really, really look, look small, as Mike says. And like I said, for some of y'all, this may be real basic, but for me, I've never done this. And we spotted several animals already, but it's tougher than it looks for sure. But boy, it's fun, and the view is is something. Just so much country out here compared to home. It's just wild. All right, so we made it on top of the mountain, around the mountain, over the mountain. We finally got set up in position. We got elk over there slowly working our, their way over towards us so hopefully we can get one in range there's some private ground and some public ground it's all kind of coming together so we got to make a make a good accurate decision make sure it's on public ground we've got actually quite a tight window but we're seeing elk there's a bunch of elk down there Mike found a nice shed. Pretty good looking one there. We're set up now. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna cut in here real quick and give you guys a little context of what's happening because the, the video probably doesn't do it justice. Uh, so anyway, you know, the biggest thing that I took away from this whole experience is just how important teamwork is to having success on, on these styles of hunts. Um, you know around home we just you just go to the woods and you sit in a tree and you know you're by yourself and if you shoot something you yeah shoot something right but out there teamwork is just so important uh, everything from the the scouting to the spotting to have another set of eyes to the pack out I mean it's just it's it's so important to your success so me and Mike split off from the other group and we went and uh, we went looking for elk since I was the only one on elk tag the the bins they went off and uh and they were looking for mule deer. So me and Mike, we climbed this mountain and uh, we just didn't make it happen on, on the elk deal. So we come off the mountain, go back to camp, and uh, as soon as we get back to camp, Ben calls Mike and says, hey, we've got elk. Uh, so we book it. We jump in the truck and we book it to where they are. Um, 
you know, now a lot of this is just driving through this this public land. Uh, it's way different than around home, but you're driving through all these roads and public land. You're spotting and glassing, and these guys had glassed up an elk, and so cell phone service is real spotty out there, almost non-existent. So me and Mike are driving through trying to find these guys. Uh, finally, come up on them, and, uh, and and Ben runs up and he says, "We've got elk. We've got elk." So. Anyway, they'd spotted these elk, and uh, this all happened super quick. But as you guys will see, uh, it, it was it was pretty cool how everything happened. They got this elk spotted. They also had mule deer spotted in between us and the elk. And uh, well, it's just this is what transpired. Over him! Over him! Aim! Aim at the! Aim at the bottom of his chest. Same spot. He's still there. Same spot. Bottom of his chest. Yep. Got him. Hit him, Hit him again. Hit him again. He's running right. He's running right. Okay, there's, another, there's, another there's another bull. bull. It's, the, it's the little bull. Shoot the little bull. Shoot the little bull. Don't shoot the big one. He's, He's, out, in the the right. He's out in the open. Yep, yep. shoot him. Shoot him. Got him. Smoked him. Got that him. was that was the one. Stay on him, Stu. That bull's dead. That bull is dead, die. dude. That was a great shot. Heck yeah. yes. <laughs> Come on, he's not coming out. He's dead, dude. <laughs> Stu, that that bull is dead. He's dead. You just shot your first bull. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. He just shot a buck with a 30 30 lever action, and Stu just shot his first elk ever. Oh, my. All within 200 yards of each other. There's Ben over there. Yep, there's Ben there, and then we got a dead elk right up there in the trees. Oh, man. So awesome. First bull. Just shot my first bull, y'all. It, it was a cluster, to say the least, but we got... My first bull elk down. Ben, shed crazy, just stalked up and shot a, what is it, three by three? Three by three muley. Three by three muley with a 30 30 lever action, open sights. And we got both these animals down within 200 yards of each other. And as soon as I shot that first shot on my bull, a big six by six got up. So we got, oh, we got a lot going on. We got Ben here. He's got his kids here, so we're gonna have to bring the kids along for all this. You talk about some excitement happening here. You got the coyote hat, good one. So we didn't get anything this morning. I didn't film a lot, but I climbed my first mountain. We did about seven miles up a mountain, saw a ton of elk. Didn't get it done there. So I got that experience, but we came up here drove up he said don't slam the doors we got we got elk <laughs> came up and got on them we're walking up to them now both animals we're gonna pack them out it's awesome oh man look at scenery i'm huffing and puffing because i'm a wimp whenever it comes to this altitude yeah look at this look what ben just shot look yeah. at that shot with Look at this shot. shot. <laughs> With a 30-30 yeah. open sights. How far was it? 89 yards. 89 yards. <laughs> Look at that deer. Dude. 200 yards apart, y'all. Look at that. That was so fun, dude. That was... Hey. I could not have went better, y'all. We got the bull and Ben. There it is. I, bulls don't really die often uh, set up for pictures, though. Yeah. No, look at that. That's how he fell, y'all. My first bull elk. We had the entire crew sitting here watching the whole thing go down. That is awesome. That is awesome. They're so much bigger than I thought I they were. I can't believe Ben shot a deer at the 30. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's deer is just literally right over there. 150 yards. All right, y'all. So, went back. I got to hide for y'all. About killed me. I made everybody wait, but y'all been asking for it for years, so we're gonna we're gonna brain tan an elk hide, and it should be a pretty good video series. But yeah, it's killing me coming up here. Flatlander's not used to this elevation, and I made Ben; he had to walk all the way back. So I feel bad for that. No problem. <laughs> we'll make it though. 
All right, so how cool was that, y'all? Uh, I mean, how that all went down was just awesome. So give you guys a little context. So anyway, we're set up uh, and we've got the, the, the elk, but we've also got the mule deer in between the elk. That's what you saw Ben. He actually went up and, and harvested his, you know, with that open sight 30-30. But for me, I came up and uh, I was shooting a, a 300 Winchester Magnum, a, a Weatherby 300 Winchester Magnum. The shot was about uh, 570 yards, which was actually the longest shot I've ever taken on an animal. Um, now the day before I had actually shot that rifle at, uh, at 460 yards and it was right on. Um, it, it was dead on. Now I don't know if that had something to do with the altitude. We'll never know if I pulled the shot, the first shot. I don't know. Um, I don't think I did. But nonetheless, uh, anyway, I corrected for it uh, on that second shot. Uh, you guys saw the first shot went high. I actually aimed low the second shot. Uh, and then that third shot, I actually dialed my scope down half an MOA and was was right on. So I don't know. I mean, I, I can only assume that the altitude had something to do with it, but we'll never know. Either way, got the thing done. So, you know, that's one thing that I learned out there, too. Um, you don't stop shooting until that animal is down. Uh, you know, around home, it's, oh, how many shots did it take? But out there, you just keep pumping lead in that thing until it's down. So, no, it's cool how it all transpired. Biggest, did you guys see that six by six that popped up? That was another cool thing. So, uh, Ben had been sitting there watching this elk for a good long time and had never seen that six by six until, uh, until I shot. So, so how cool is that? You know, I know a lot of you guys, oh, that big six by six. Well, you know, I went out there, y'all, and I went out there with the intent of, of shooting a legal bull. That's all I wanted. I didn't want a giant. I wanted uh, my first experience out west. I just wanted a legal bull. And, you know, to me, horns on everything. I mean, they're super cool. Talk about this, that, and the other. But the experience of it, um, you know, is just awesome. You know, I got to climb the mountain. I got to shoot the elk. You know, it's just... That to me is more important than horns. So another thing, I mean, that was so cool about how all this went down. I mean, the fact that we got two animals down, but Ben Sandal had his, had his kids there the whole time. So while all this is happening, his kids are sitting there watching this all go down. Uh, you know, we got awesome pictures with, with the whole group. I mean, how do, you, how do you ask for anything better how that all went down? So anyway, just thought I'd give you guys a little context on, on some stuff that may have been a little vague in the video, but man, just what an awesome deal. All right, y'all, so I figured I'd give you a little tour around our camp here. Uh, Mike's went to town with Angel and the baby. Ben's out hunting uh, with his family. and Me and the other Ben are sitting here just having a little lunch and uh, kind of hanging out till the evening hunt. But uh, this is, this is kind of what we got going here. We've got all the bases covered here. Uh, we've got Mike's hotel on wheels there. You've got my little setup over there. Ben's in a, in a tent over there doing it old school. Got a nice little spike tent, trapper tent, whatever you want to call it. And other Ben's here with his rig, so we've got all the bases covered. But uh, pretty nice little setup for us here. Got a couple of side by sides. Heating up a can of soup there on the grill for for my lunch. We've got this uh, meat pole we put together here yesterday. It's starting to really come together. Hopefully, we can add to it uh, this evening. But yeah. Mike, he, uh, he picked this out a pretty good spot here, but pretty nice little setup. I haven't been doing a ton of filming, just kind of more or less enjoying the experience, but uh, old Shed Crazy's got a pretty good setup there. That's, that's pretty legit. Got him a pile of horns there, and nice tent. Mike's got the mobile hotel, I got the mobile uh, hotel. No kidding, he's got hotel the mobile. Hotel six. What are you cooking up there? Got a little bit of Spam and rice going. Spam and rice. I like to get it chunked up crispy and then you get this boiling bag rice, mix it in there and then this is a secret ingredient right there. What do you got there? Fresh, well it's ground fresh chili paste. Ooh. It's good. Yeah, I got a Blow can. your can up at night. <laughs> Blow the can up. Yeah, I got a can of Campbell's soup on the grill, so <laughs> I'm not too worried about it, but yeah. Like I said, y'all, this is a this is pretty legit setup here. We've got awesome scenery. It's camp life. This is a this is pretty cool. All right, y'all. So that's 
that's gonna do it for me. Uh, I am back out of the mountains. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, there's a bunch of windmills there. And uh, yeah, I'm back now driving through Kansas, headed back home, and I got about 10 hours or so left uh, before I'll be home. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, this was my first time uh, ever out west. I checked a lot of boxes off on this trip. A lot of first time things, uh, just a super cool experience. I know probably the video footage was not the best, but you know, in all honesty, this was my first time ever going out there and I was more focused on the experience for me rather than the, uh, the video inside of it. I do however know that this has definitely turned into an addiction and uh, I hope to be out there uh, many more times in the future. And, and of course then we'll, we'll focus a little bit more on the video side of it but just an awesome experience i want to thank everybody i went out there with uh you know just to kind of recap check the links in below all the real hunting guys uh check out that channel ben with shed crazy obviously mike uh mullet man check him out and then uh check out ben sandal too i'll leave his instagram down below uh just an awesome group of guys you know for me going in i knew absolutely nothing essentially you know this is coming from a, a whitetail hunter that goes to a tree climbs up and sits there you know this is a totally different experience and those guys they, they taught me a lot um, and I learned a lot you know from this trip uh, it's a totally different kind of hunting so anyway huge shout out to Mike's wife Angel uh, she, she fed us all week so I, I really appreciate that Angel uh, thank you for doing that but anyway y'all uh, I'm gonna put this camera down and get back on the road uh, I'm headed home and we're gonna start immediately putting sets in the ground should be an exciting here uh, anyway I hope you all enjoyed the video let me know I can definitely see myself branching out towards this kind of hunt uh, it's super addicting so let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more of it So for the cooking part of this video, um, as you guys saw, so we ended up cutting this elk up into, we did steaks, we did some grind, and we did a bunch of jerky meat. Um, now, as I said, you know, a lot of, nobody around here does this. This is super rare, super cool. So we cut this elk up into as many steaks as we could, uh, and then just use the trimmings for, for jerky meat and for grind. So... I'm gonna do it up here. Uh, I'm still unpacking. I got a mess, but take a little bit of time. I'm hungry, uh, but this is what I did. So I got it all cut up, and this is just some elk steaks that we have here. Um, and I've got the pit boss set. I've got it set to 400, and I've got the uh, the sear grate open there, and uh, and we're gonna throw these steaks on here. So we just got two elk steaks off of here. We did as many steaks as we could, obviously. And uh, I've just got garlic, salt, and, and pepper uh, is all I want to do. I don't want to mask the taste of elk uh, any more than, than I have to. I want to get, get the full on effect of it. So this is going to go super fast. Throw that sucker on there. And uh, like I said, I've got the pit boss set to 400 here. So it's not going to take but just a couple of minutes. So probably just two, three minutes on each side. Uh, we, we tried to cut our steaks, you know, three quarters to an inch thick, uh, but it's super lean meat. So we'll give them just a couple of minutes, flip them, and we'll give, our, give ourselves some, uh, some elk. All right, y'all, so we pulled it off the grill, let it rest a little bit, um, cut it up a little bit here. So this is no prime cut either. Uh, this is just, we cut as much of this elk up as we could into steaks. Uh, this is no loin or tenderloin, but... We also did quite a bit of uh, of jerky and uh, and what the trimmings were were grind. But this is this is no prime piece here, just a good piece of steak. You can see medium rare, probably leaning more towards the rare side of anything. Colorado public land elk. Oh man, 
That is so good. It's so good. Mm. I mean, melt in your mouth. You could not. I, I couldn't tell the difference between that and beef. There's no way. No way I could uh, tell the difference between that and beef. So let's see how the uh, let's see how the rebel dog likes it. What do you say, bud? You want a little a little Colorado elk? Well, did you even taste it? Is it good? Yep. Yeah, I think yeah, I, I think that's good, huh? Yep. You liked it. All right, y'all. So, Colorado public land elk. Good to go. All right, y'all. So we just got it wrapped up here. Uh, took two days to do it. Two evenings, anyway. But uh, we got that elk all cut up. There was four of us working on it. So, just show you a little bit of the the spread we got. We had two vacuum sealers going. We got a I don't know, roughly probably 40, 40 pounds of grind or so. And a bunch of loin, a ton of steaks. That's mainly what we did here. Is we tried to cut up as much as we could into steaks. Uh, we did a bunch of jerky meat, sliced it all up. But uh, thank these guys here for uh, for helping me out. We're going to distribute all this. Um, I can't obviously eat all this, so uh, going to distribute it amongst friends and uh, some family, and, and everybody around here is going to try some elk because this is uh, this is actually pretty rare for around here. We just don't get this, so. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely go check out the channels linked down below. Uh, support them guys because they really helped me out. And uh, as always, y'all, appreciate the view. We'll see you on the next one.